Now, it's been almost two years since the South African National Blood Service began using drones to send blood in parts of the country. This system delivers blood to remote areas of KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape, and there are plans to expand the program to the rest of the country. Well, to tell us more about this, we are joined here on the Midday View by Amit Singh from the Blood Service. Mr. Singh, good afternoon. Happy Freedom Day, and thank you very much uh, for your time. I recall in 2019 when this uh, drone delivery program was started by the blood service uh, speaking about it how they excited the service was about uh, rolling this out how has it been going over the last two years uh, good day mr moyani and a happy freedom day to you and your listeners um, project bloodwing has been progressing very well we have made great progress uh, with the testing and piloting um, you know, with this project. And at this moment, our application is currently with the Civil Aviation Authority for review, uh, whereby once reviewed and uh, approved, we can then roll out to uh, further parts of the country. What are you applying for exactly? Uh, sorry, I missed that there. What have you applied for? What exactly are you applying for? So we have to apply for a license in order to be authorized to fly drones uh, in South Africa. So the Civil Aviation Authority of South Africa, they manage this process. And it's a, uh, there are five phases in, in this process. And we are currently in phase three of the process of finalizing phase three of the process. Part of the process, I guess, as you are waiting, is to train the drone pilots for your own service. People who understand the importance uh, uh, of transporting uh, uh, blood. How, are you managing that process as well? Well, do you have enough uh, pilots? We are managing the process perfectly well. We have a team dedicated to actually um, find competent individuals within our organization to train. We have so far to this date trained one individual, Lebohang Lebogo. Um, you know, she's our first female uh, drone pilot. And the plan is to train more of our staff uh, so that we have the competency internally. Now, you want to make this a nationwide thing. Do, you're going to have to acquire, more, I guess, more drones than you have now, and you're going to have to train more pilots, I guess, in different parts of the country. Uh, Funding-wise, uh, are you going to manage? So you're correct. We will have to uh, procure more drones. Um, it's a process that we are currently looking at at, at the moment. Uh, we, we don't plan on buying the drones outright. We would want to lease them. So based on our OPEX model, um, currently the, the funds are going to be coming out of the South African National Blood Services. But once we are fully up and running, we will be appealing to organizations to fund the program. Yeah, I mean, I'm just wondering what kind of drone is this? Because when you transport blood, it has to be transported uh, at, at particular temperatures and particular conditions. Absolutely. So, you know, um, we currently have two, uh, two drones by the German manufacturer uh, called Quantum Systems. They are the Trons. Uh, blood has to be maintained between 2 to 10 degrees Celsius for transport. Um, these drones are equipped uh, uh, with cooling to ensure that the blood temperature is maintained at that particular temperature. Okay. Um, going forward, the drones will be uh, similar to, to the ones from Germany as well. Okay. Finally, Mr. Singh, when do you think the Civil Aviation Authority will give you that license? You said you're in phase three now. How close are you? So I believe we are pretty close. Um, you know, I can't give a date. Uh, I was hoping that we would be flying already, uh, you know, and servicing the people of South Africa by delivering uh, blood uh, in emergency cases. Uh, only the civil aviation can answer that question, uh, unfortunately. But they've been very helpful uh, throughout the process. Um, you know, I don't want to put a date, put a date down. They are the only ones who can actually tell us when we would be flying.
Yeah, and maybe they are watching, somebody from their office is watching and listening to us, and they might move the process a bit further. <laughs> Thank you very much. Amit Singh from the National Blood Service. Good luck there with that drone program. It is needed, of course, because there are rural parts of South Africa where you can easily access, and blood there is needed, and there could be emergencies. Good luck to them. Still ahead.